all, Karen here. Today we're going to be making this little gift box that looks like a stocking. But I did make some other ones that are different sizes, and we'll go into that once we start. But there is a template and there is an SVG. The template has all the pieces you need. You just cut them all out. If you have the ability to cut out an SVG, then just download the SVG from the website and you can have the machine cut it out for you. So let me get this camera turned around and we will get started. All right, before we get started, I wanted to show you some of my little prototypes that I started off with. So the main difference between these two are how wide they are. This one is two inches wide. And this one is an inch and a half. So as you can see, I, this is about two fingers wide. And this one is about three. So you can do it either way, just depends on what you're gonna put in the box. So for today, I'm gonna to make the one and a half. So I also wanted to show you some different ways I went about trying this. So this one is, they're both embossed with little dots. This one, they're embossed with dots and this part isn't. Now, in the one I'm making today and in the template I have, I have shrunk these down because I thought these were a little big. But I wanted to show you the different effects of, you know, embossing it, not embossing it, and absolutely uh, use pattern paper. Um, and if you have pattern paper that you think is too thin, then just cut it out of pattern paper and cut it out of a heavier cardstock and then just glue them together. And, um, and that will work. All right, so let's talk about our pieces here. So we're going to have one piece that is 10 inches long, and regardless of how wide you make your yours, it's gonna be the same length, 10 inches. You're going to score it at three and a quarter, five and a quarter, six, seven, and eight. And then down each side, you're gonna score at a quarter inch. So I have a template here for the tops, the bottoms, and there are two here Two sets because uh, you need mirror image of them. And I figured if I put two of them on here and reversed it, it would help everybody remember. Uh, but also, uh, there will be an SVG. I'm going to upload it uh, to the website, so that will be there too um, if you have the ability to cut out an SVG. If not, you know, this is a pretty basic shape. You can just cut this out. And these lines on the inside were just some trim that I put on it that's on the SVG. Um, you can draw it in with a, with a pen, or you can leave it blank. Either way, it will all work. All right, so let's get started. So here is our paper that is 10 inches long. We are going to score this at three and a quarter, five and a quarter, at six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna come down the side and we're gonna score a quarter inch down each side. And I'm gonna do it this way. So if you've changed how wide you wanna make your basket, I mean your basket, your treat bag, um, basically you're just gonna add a half an inch. So if you want a one that's three inches wide, you need a paper that is three and a half inches wide and you'll just score a quarter inch on each side. So let me grab my scissors. So now, let me get this out of the way. We're done with that. So now we can see the score lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this first. So we're gonna fold this down. It's long and skinny like this, take your time. Because it's easy for the paper to get bent. Fold the other one over. Show it where I want it to go before I take the bone folder to it. I'm going to flatten it out and I'm going to fold and all of these but one end up going in the same direction but it's fine just uh, just score them all down and then the one that will get folded in the other direction you can just fold back all right so now we're just going to take scissors and snip up past the score line at each of these. And if you want to, you can put a little wedge in there if you think that will make it easier for you to uh, fold it. But the first one I made, I didn't bother and it was fine.
All right, so now that's all cut and ready to go. Let me shake this off. All right, so now let's bring in our stocking. So this one I got started because I was trying to decide how I wanted to do it. So I decided I did like embossing the top and I embossed this middle part, the regular stocking part, but I, I'm not gonna emboss the little toe and the little heel. So for the stocking top, I used this one from Crafter's Companion. Um, I think it was called Sweater or Argyle Sweater or Cable Knit Sweater or something along those lines. I don't have the packaging anymore, so I'm not sure what it was called. But I'm sure you have something in your stash that has wavy lines on it that you could use. So that's what I used on the top here. So for the stocking, so that part is done. These were not doing it. So I wanted to show you what to do. So basically, you're just going to... Now you need to make sure you put them in here opposite each other because you need the mirror image. So if this one, let's see, this one went in this way because this is the bumpy part. Oh, nope, what was this side? It was on this side. So the bumpy part pushed up through the paper on this side. So you want this one facing it when you put them in. So when you put the two of them in, you want them facing each other. So that way the emboss will come out the same on both. So I'm going to close this and run it through my little midi. All right. And I will see if I did it correctly. And yes, they are facing each other. Perfect. All right. So now on the other one I did, I went over it with some red ink and I kind of like that. So I'm going to do the same thing again here. So all I did with that, I'm going to do this on the back side of my template here. Just take this and rub it across. I think that's good and this color I'm using is cherry red and that's just because it was darker than my paper so whatever color red you're using or whatever other color it'll change whatever color you're using here all right so now we have these colored so let's glue everything together so now on this top part There we go. On this top part here, I have one one way and one the other way. One where it's embossed and one where it's debossed. I kind of like the the reverse better. So I'm going to do it this way for the stockings. So I'm going to put glue. I'm going to ruffle side is down. And you do want these to kind of be the same. So you're going to want to flip it over so you can see that you're gluing it in the same spot. Make sure it matches the other one. And they're not going to be right next to each other, so if they're not exactly the same, you're not going to be able to tell. But you do want them to be close. There we go. Okay. So now let's glue on our toe. Make sure I flip that over. So we have our toe for this side and our heel. And the heel does have a left and a right. So make sure you do cut out one of each. Or if you're doing something plain, you can flip it over. But there is definitely a front and the back to these things. All right, the toe will go on here. I 
another thing you could do is you could glue these pieces on first and then run it through an embossing folder. And then the um, pattern would be exactly the same on both pieces. And I wouldn't put the stocking piece on. I'd put that on separate, but you absolutely could put the toes and the uh, heels on first. So that's all good. All right, so now we're going to start putting it together. All right, so this is the side that goes down the long side. It's the longest piece, and so that's the side that's going to go down here. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to put some glue in here. I'm going to go ahead and just put glue all the way down. Now you start here. I'm going to flip this over. So you're going to want to start this just below over here and make sure you're behind the stocking here. Do you want to make sure this is flush, then this piece will come around here, and it just kind of follows along. I think it's easier if you just put your hand here and just press down as you go along. Just do each section at a time. And really, if you do the first section and the last section, the other sections kind of fall into place. And then just take your finger, press down. All right, now for this side, we're gonna start with glue here. Put glue all the way around. You're going to lay this on top. You're going to want to make sure that the bottom is equal. So your, bas your uh, stocking will stand up. Line it up where you want it on the sides, and then run your finger inside. Let that slid a little bit. Now, if you can't reach all the way inside, you can use a pen to press down. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing along this side here. Go across the bottom into the toe. Make sure that's all good. This part here is about the only part that's kind of hard to get on there. So just give it a little push. Give it a good rub. And there it is.
It is that simple. Now you can do this with any big die that you have, um, if you have a big tree. Um, and I would just cut a long strip. And for your first one, I would just kind of fold it as I went along and then take measurements so you could remember for next time. But yeah, this can be adapted pretty much to uh, any shape. But definitely download the template if you want to make one just like this. And uh, if you wanted to, you could put handles on it and, you know, make it hanging. Uh, but yeah, so that's the little basket. All right, so let me get my camper turned around. All right, so here it is. Here's the little basket, little retreat bag that we did. Remember, I did this one that was two and a half. So if you want to put something bigger in here, but this one is uh, plenty big enough. I would say Hershey Kisses or anything like that would fit in here. Um, but if you need something a little bit bigger, just, you know, make your paper wider. And you just need the quarter of an inch on each side. So I hope you enjoyed this. This little gift box and you could even you know put the string on it like i said and hang them on your tree and you put people's names on them across here and done so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did give me a like and if you want to see the other christmas things then subscribe and you'll get notification when the other christmas in july videos are made until next time stay crafty